We begin in Washington, where the stage is set for President Trump's historic impeachment trial. Chief Justice John Roberts and senators who will serve as jurors were sworn in yesterday. This is only the third time that has ever happened for a president. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump insisted he does not know Lev Parnas, who worked with the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Parnas, who faces unrelated federal charges, now claims more of the president's aides knew about efforts to pressure Ukraine to investigate political foes. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. What happens next? Well, the trial resumes in the Senate on Tuesday, and senators are going to have to figure out at some point how to handle all this new information. Republicans say it shows that the House didn't do its due diligence, while Democrats say it shows that the White House is still covering up the truth. Do you solemnly swear? Chief Justice John Roberts administered a more than 200-year-old oath of impartiality to nearly all 100 senators. You will do impartial justice according to the Constitution and laws, so help you God. Hours before the senators signed their names one by one in an oath book, the Government Accountability Office, a nonpartisan federal watchdog agency, found that the president violated the law when he withheld more than $200 million in military aid to Ukraine. The GAO stated that the law does not permit the president to substitute his own policy priorities for those that Congress has enacted into law. And then 45 years here, I've never seen anything like this. New evidence continues to emerge about the effort to pressure Ukraine to announce an investigation into the Bidens. I should be their number one witness because I'm the one that got all the dirt. The new allegations come from former Trump donor and indicted businessman Lev Parnas, who says he was the man President Trump and his personal attorney Rudy Giuliani entrusted with getting Ukraine to announce the investigation. In a series of interviews, Parnas says many top White House officials were involved or aware of what was going on. Everybody that was close to Trump knew the, uh, that this was a thorn in the side and this was a serious situation. Bolton. That's, Bolton. Mulvaney. Mulvaney. Uh, Bolton, I don't think, agreed with it. President Trump has repeatedly denied even knowing Parnas. I don't know him at all, don't know what he's about, don't know where he comes from, know nothing about him. Parnas's lawyer responded with this video of his client with Mr. Trump at Mar-a-Lago back in 2016. Every time he says that, I'll show him another picture. Parnas has already released several photos with the rest of the president's family. And the people in question are sketchy at best. Both sides note that Parnas has credibility issues. This is a, an example of all of the president's henchmen. But Democrats say the new evidence is all the more reason to hear from the witnesses they requested. In America, trials have evidence and cover-ups do not. Senate Republicans say it's not their job to reinvestigate the case. The job is to respond to what we've been given in the case that was built by the House. The White House acknowledges that Parnas's allegations make things, in their words, messy, but they insist that the outcome of the trial won't change. It would take four Senate Republicans to agree with all Democrats to bring new witness testimony into this trial. And last night, one Republican, Senator Susan Collins of Maine, said, Tony, that she is likely to support that. All right. Messy is one word for it, Nancy. Thank you very much.